I say A, I'll be getting the data. If I say Z, I won't be getting any data. If I say B, I should be getting a banana. If I say Q, hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing to you how to create a search functionality in Flutter application. Right now, before starting this video, make sure you have hit that like button on this video because I want to reach to 10k people as soon as possible. Right, so make sure you have hit that like button on this video and let's get started. So for now, for starters, I have nothing but a simple file called flutter search.dart. Right, so first of all, I'll be creating here a stateless widget. So here, let's call it as a flutter search view. Right, now you can call this thing any sort of thing that you wanted. It is just an example. Right, now here, what I'll do, instead of a placeholder, I'll be adding a kfold. Right, and here, let's add a small app bar. Now here, I have a widget called custom app bar. So here, I'll simply say flutter search. Now here, if I click on uh, custom app bar, it will be navigating me here, which is simply nothing but a custom app bar that I've implemented with a stateless widget and which implements a preferred size widget. Right now, all of the following source code will be under a description box. You can check it out anytime. Right now here, once I have deployed, once I have done my custom app bar, I'll be having my body here. Right now here, let's have a body for a container now. Right now here, what I'll do, I'll be creating here a new notifier. So to create a notifier, I'll be simply calling it a search notifier, which will be extending a change notifier because whenever we will be searching our value, we need to show the changes in the UI itself. Right. And for the state management, I'll be using provider. Right. So here, what I'll do, first of all, we need some mock data for our search functionality itself. Right. So here I'll be simply creating a new class or let's say item. Right. Now here in item, I'll be simply saying item has an item ID and let's say it has a item title. Right, let's have only two properties here. Now here I'll be creating a new constructor for it. And here let's add a required value of this dot item ID. And similarly for this dot item title. Right, so we have our item class which will be holding our data for the search item itself. Right, now after this what I'll do, in my Flutter search view, I'll be creating here a list. And here let's call it a type of list to be item. And here let's declare the property name which will be items and here I'll be declaring an item. Let's have an ID of zero and here let's have an uh, like title of Apple, something like that. Now something like that, right? Now here let's copy it and paste it twice because I'll be adding some small example itself. You can uh, search it for any example. That is, you can add more data into it as per as you want, right? So here let's say a uh, uh, Apple banana and let's say, what do you call that? Uh, let's say jamun uh, or let's say pineapple right so here we have three items which is apple banana and pineapple now we will be searching our data through these three items right now here what i'll do in my container uh, instead of container we can add here a column right now here in the column let's have our children now for the first child i'll be adding is a text field because we need to uh, search data and to search the data will be requiring a text field now we have a text field, so I'll be converting my stateless widget into a stateful widget because I would like to dispose my controller of the text field, right? Now here, once this thing is done, I'll simply say final text editing controller to be a text editing controller should be having a value to be declared to be a text editing controller, right? Now once this is done, what I'll do, I'll be getting a dispose uh, method here and here I'll simply take text editing controller dot dispose. Now once thing is, this thing is done, let's go into the text field and simply say a text or a controller or a text editing controller. Right now here let's add some decoration for let's say input decoration. And here I'll be simply adding a hint text. Now I'll be calling my hint text as search anything that that dash something like this. Right now this will be adding a text field here. Now before moving forward what you can also do is add some spacing from the top. So for spacing, I'll be using size box with a height. That's it. Also, let's add some background color here. So I have some custom colors, which goes to this file and this file will be giving all the colors. Right. So I have a background color here. Now, once this thing is done, what I can really do is I can start the application running up. So you'll be able to figure out what's going on actually here. So I'll simply press control or function or F5. Let's wait for it until the application is running. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and you are sharing the content of this channel on your social media, among your developer friends and everywhere. All right, so our application is up and running. Let's wait for it. Now, before moving forward, what we also have to do is add this Flutter search view under our main file, like here. 
let's just uh, quick fix it and here in my provider i'll be simply saying search notify now here you can see we have our flutter custom search app or not not that way but where is it okay flutter search view okay so this thing is referring a different search thing that i have uploaded on my instagram so here i'll say uh rename symbol as custom flutter search view like this now let's copy it and paste it here yeah some human problems man <laughs> okay so when this is done i'll simply say custom search notifier one more time here so here i'll say custom search notifier copy that and paste it here right now when this thing is done we are simply getting our value here which is shown here now here we have our text field something somewhere here so here what i'll do uh in my input decoration i'll add some hint style to be a text style let's add a color of right all right so this thing is done search anything so after this let's add some spacing here as well uh, after this let's have a list view builder right now here in my list view builder i'll be simply showing all the demo value first where i'll simply say items dot length to be the uh, list's entire length and here i'll be simply saying list type right now when this thing is done we'll be simply showing all the values for now i'll be simply adding the property of shrink web to be true so we don't have to add a container or anything here right now here once this thing is done i'll be simply adding here uh declaring a new value here of item to be item is equal to items of the index so we'll be able to uh, you know read the value of a particular item here right now when this thing is done uh let's call it top all right let's call it a bottom and here i'll be simply declaring some values here so let's say title to be a text say item dot item title and let's add some styling here which i have my custom stylings here and here i'm adding a dot 12. right so here you can see we have our items here and also let's add some more decoration here that is a property width so circle avatar and let's say child under a center a child to be a text of item dot item id to string also i'll be adding some styling to it so let's add some styling that's it right so we are just done this thing here let's add some background color here or a different background color all right so once this thing is done we need to uh, write we need to able we, we should be able to write here something and we should be able to search the value from it Right, but before moving that we also need to add some styling to our text field so let's add a styling here and height of 12 right so here if i type anything we should be able to search our values right now here what i'll do in my custom search notifier i'll be declaring here a new string uh, which will be nullable and here i'll be saying it to be a query right it will be a query whatever we will be searching here it will be a query right now here i'll be simply adding a new uh, small function here we say set query it will be adding some value here we'll be requiring some argument of value and i'll simply say the value of query is nothing but a new value right and now once this thing is done let's say a void of set query and once this thing is done as well what i can really do now all right so here uh there's a property in text field called on change we'll be using that right now on change property will be requiring the value right the value will, that we'll be writing here and we'll be providing this value to our set query function feature uh, function right now once this thing is done we need to declare a new provider right that is we need to instantiate a new provider so let me do it at the top so here i'll be simply saying a uh, custom search notifier this thing but custom search notifier of custom search notifier and i'll be creating a in a function form so i'll be saying uh, render ui or not right now if you want a tutorial over how, what is provider and how to use provider please comment down below because in this tutorial i won't be showing how to use provider and all right so here i'll be simply saying custom search notifier That's it and here i'll be simply providing the value of listen to render ui right now once this thing is done i can go here and i can simply say custom uh, custom search notifier and the render here to be false because we are simply providing the value to our notifier and here i'll be simply saying set query to be the value 
right now let's test it out so for testing it out what i can, what I can do i can simply say uh, just show me the value of the query by well, simply saying a uh, debug value of print of query right now when this thing is done uh, let me close the entire session and run it again because we declared a new provider here so let's press function and f5 if you're on a mac all right so our application is started back so now i'll op simply open a debug console and type here something right so now you can see in our debug console i am getting the value of the query which we are setting it on our own that is a custom value itself right now when this thing is uh, working let's create a search function here so here i'll be simply saying here a new void uh, function to be let's say query data right now here what i can really do is uh, instead of providing the items here i can remove them from that side and i can provide them in the search notifier now when this thing is done what i can do i can simply say uh, for item item in items we can loop through the entire thing and here we can add a logic to implement the search functionality now here i can simply say for every item in items if items item dot title contains the query or also before that if query is not equal to null to this thing right now here i can simply say it will be never be null so i can add a, a null check value here so here one thing i can do is if i can say if item dot item title contains the query simply add the following item into our queried list so for that i'll simply say final list of item to be queried items is equal to an empty list for now right so here i can simply say this thing and also i can simply say if or let, let, let's do one thing let's go and remove the top and i can simply say if queried items contains item don't do this but here i simply say not if the query items do not contain the item only at that point do this thing right now here after this i can simply say queried items dot add item and i'll simply say notify listeners right so this will be our entire thing and every time it will be search our value i'll simply clear out my entire queried items where i'll simply say queried items dot clear after that implement a for loop the for loop will be going through every items in our default item list after that i'll simply say the query should not be equal to null and if it is not null we can say the query item should not contain the item itself because it will duplicate the value now if the value is not duplicated i am saying if the item title contains the query means the string contains the query simply add the item in the query items right so once this thing is done what i can do here on change i can implement one more functionality here and i'll simply say search or what is the function name man i forget about that oh query data i simply say query data right so once this thing is done what i can also do now here i can implement a logic to show the list of items so here what i'll do i'll simply say a uh, boolean is query null right so here i can simply say uh, this thing is done and simply say custom search notifier to be true and here i'll simply say query not equal to null right so once this thing is done uh, what we can really do next is simply uh, add a list of item i can simply say a list of item of items if the query is null i can simply say show me the all the items that are default items else if it is not uh, the query is not empty simply show me the, all the items which are queried queried items this will be it so the items are just conjugated with the this item all right so hot restart everything once also before moving forward what i'll do i'll simply say if value not equal to an empty value only at that point do this else i can simply say just clear the entire items right so for that purpose i'll be getting a new functionality here i'll simply say clear search right now once this thing is done what i can do here is i can simply say query items dot clear query is equal to null and notify the listeners right so here i'll simply say custom search notifiers dot clear search now if i go forward and make it better it will be cleared out right so here i'll simply say if query is null 
okay okay i just actually had an exclamation here this way if i say a i'll be getting the value if i say z i won't be getting the value right but before that also let's make some changes here i'll simply say dot to lowercase is query dot to lowercase let's hot restart everything if i say a i'll getting the data if i say z i won't be getting any data if i say b i should be getting a banana if i say q i won't be getting anything if i say apple i'll be getting two different values because apple and pineapple both contains apple right but if i say pine i will be getting pine and if i say z nothing but banana b a n a right now here i'll be adding some more data here so let's say this and let's say a zebra why not right so once this thing is done let's hot install everything so we'll be getting the values back right so we have a zebra if i say z e we'll be getting the zebra if i say apple pineapple and apple if i say pine pineapple and if i say banana the banana right so this is how you can implement the search functionality in flutter now if you have any issues in the following tutorial comment down below or you can reach me out on my instagram on my linkedin or my twitter everywhere right so i'll see you in the next video goodbye